Now, if you want to know how EasyBot makes money in a bear market, then carry on watching this video. And if this doesn't blow your mind and get you excited, then check your pulse because you must be dead. Okay, let me just explain it in, in, in general, how, how the things works. If it's going to start with 3.3% per, per, of, uh, of the capital and then wait for the market, we have two possibilities. The market goes up or the market goes down or the market goes sideways. If the market goes sideways, that means the normal kind of, of market movement in crypto, which is plus minus one to 5%, that's going to happen. It's going to, be, it's going to go something like this. It's not going to, to be like a straight, straight line, never. So we're using this small movement of the market to open, buy and sell trades and make small, small profit. And that will accumulate at the end of the month to make a good amount of, of profit. But let's take the other uh, scenarios. If the market goes up, it's going to go to 1.5% of, of, if it reaches 1.5%, the bot is going to be ready to sell. It's not going to sell it because maybe the market is shooting higher. So the market is going higher, it's going to wait for the market to retrace or to come down by minus 0.5%. And then it's going to close the trade at, the, at this position. This could be just 1.1% if it goes to 1.5 exactly and come back down by 0.5. It's going to be 1% minimum profit, but it can shoot up to higher. If, for the example I just showed, it was 2.5%. That means practically the price went up to 3% and went down 0.5% and closed at 2.5%. So this is a good case scenario, and then it's going to open a new cycle here and then follow the market moving up. Let's take the other case. If the market is moving down, which is the worst case scenario, the market is moving down. If the market is moving down, it's going to open another trade here at the price of minus 2%. But again, it's not going to open immediately. It's going to wait for the market to pull back plus 0.5% and then open a trade here. Because if there is bad news in the market, if there is uh, unusual behavior in the market and the price of this coin that I'm using is dropping dramatically, it's not going to open any trade. It's going to wait for the market to move down and reach to the bottom. And then it won't start retracing and consolidating again, then it's going to start buying. So that will not be buying all the money here. So this minus 2% could be actually even minus 20% or more or less. It depends on how the market is behaving. Without us looking at the market, it's going to be just based on this math. Working. Let's say it came here to minus 2% and then it opened this, this trade. This trade here is going to be of a value of 1x. I mean, one time of the initial trade. Let's say the initial trade was $20. It's going to buy here another $20 and then bring down the average price to this position. This is the average price here at the middle. So right now, the market doesn't have to go and reach back up to the to the zero point and plus that by 1.5% to sell. No, you just have to go past this average price by 1.5% and, and then sell and make profit. Sell the whole, both positions and take profit. We call it the average price or the average dollar price. Let's say the market did not go up. Yeah, this is our average price. Okay, let's say the market did not cross that and the market actually kept on dropping. The market here took this cover and then went down, straight down at the price of minus 5%. Right now, this is the setting. This is all customizable, guys. You can customize it. You can do the way do it the way you want. Minus five percent. The price of minus five percent is going to initiate an additional order, but that order also requires a pullback of 0.5 percent. Then it's going to buy here. That means if a bad news or something wrong with, went to this coin at this time, while the market is going down, it's going to go straight down. If it goes straight down, again, it's not going to take this position here, it's going to take it at the bottom of the market. The lowest point that reached to plus 0.5%. And then it's going to bring the average price somewhere here. So let's take the worst case scenario, like it just hit the, the five, minus 5% and it went up by 0.5% by and took the position here. Here, the average price is going to come at this place. It's going to come down because what you are buying here, let me take it up a little bit. Yeah. The amount that we're taking here in this trade, in this second cover or second trade is going to be 2x. Two times the initial order. So here you have 2x in this one because 1x here plus 1x here is 2x. When you get a 2x at the bottom here, it's going to bring down the average price to somewhere here. Then 
Now, let's say the, mar the market, if the market goes above this one by 1.5%, it's going to take profit for all the positions. If the market did not behave that way and kept on moving down, let's say it just hit here and took this cover and then went down again. Uh, at, the, at the price of minus uh, 8%, minus 8% is going to initiate another buy. But that buy is going to be of a value of 4x this time, just to have bigger volume down and bring down the average price. Again, it's, it's going to have the same kind of 0.5% 0.5% retracement or pullback. So it has to pull back because if there is bad news, if there is something going wrong with the coin, it's going to go straight down and then it's not going to buy anything and put you in risk. It's going to wait for the market to consolidate and come back again up and then start buying into the market. Let's say it came here, just, just hit the 8%, minus 8% and then went up and then it's going to buy the position here of the value of uh, 4x this time, 4x, four times the initial order. That means four multiplied by 20, that's $80. And it's going to again, bring the average price down here. Let me put it in a different color. So our final average price is somewhere here because the big volume is here. So right now the market has just, doesn't have to go back up again to the initial uh, buying price plus that by 1.5% to close the trade. No, right now we have all these trades combined into one trade and the average price, the zero point is here. So it had to just cross that by 1.5%, 1.5% and then start taking profit process. Follow the market until the highest point, then when it dropped by 0.5%, take profit and close the trade, open a new cycle at that market price. Let's say it was a bad uh, day and the market kept on moving down, which is possible. I mean, we cannot control this and it can, it can happen. The market went down. So after the one, two, three, the first four uh, covers or the first four trades, it's not going to be taking the average anymore. Because if we kept on adding more funds and making this trade down bigger, 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 we will consume all the funds that we have, whatever the amount we have. Maybe we need to start with only 0.1% as initial trade so that it can double down and add. So from this point onward, we will have uh, a kind of grid. Like we will have covers available every almost 1%. It's not exactly 1%, but I'm just giving as an example. I don't want to... Uh, with too many complications here. So it goes down to more covers or more trades to open. Uh, the difference between each point and another, between this and this, is about, uh, let me put it this way, this way. Yeah, this here about minus 1%, minus 1%. And likewise, the difference between this and this is minus 1%, minus 1%, minus 1%. So with this, with doing so, we are covering until the last one. The last cover here is number 35. So we'll have 35 trades ready to open uh, with a market drop. So we're covering with all of these trades. It's not only this number because we have one, two, uh, three, and all of them 35. So 35 minus uh, three is going to be 22, sorry, uh, 32. 32 trades down. Those lines is going to be 32, like 1%, 1%, 1%, up to 32 down, up to 35 down. So the total coverage of the market of all of this here is minus 50, approximately 51%. Okay, 51% on the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario means that each cover is taken exactly at the point it was programmed, which is not the case. It will never be the case because we have the, the cover pullback. That's maybe this 2% is actually 5%. If that's 5%, it's going to push everything down by another 5%. So 50, 50 is going to be 55%. If it's going to the second cover here, if it pushed down instead of five, it's 10%, then it's going to add another 5%. Now we are at 60%. If the last one here at the number eight or minus 8% is actually minus 20%, that's going to push it back. So it's going to push back each cover Push back, push back, push back. So it could be between 50 uh, to 70, 80%. It could cover up to 80%, 60%, 70%, depending on the market movement and the coin that you have. But the minimum is around 51. Actually, it's 50 point something. So to round the figure, it's 51% coverage of the market. That means if the coin that you're trading is coming down to 
more than 50% in drop, still you are safe and the uh, bot is actually trading. But this is not the magic here. The magic is, hap is happening when the market is going down. We still have this open trade at this position. This position here is still open. So yes, it's going. the market is going to go down. Uh, so I have to change color every time I do this. Okay. So the market, if it goes down, it's going to be fluctuating. Okay. It's not going to be straight. Let's say the market went down here to this point and stayed here. It did not go up. So the market is going to fluctuate. It's going to make us a daily profit or maybe every day, a couple of times, because it's going to buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here. And then again, buy, 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 sell, sell. So it's going to make this a small profit. So what happens to this trade here, which is having the first four trades and having the average price? What's happening here is we're going to take 50% of the profit. That's what I just showed now in the back office. 50% of the profit made by these small trades. Yeah, by the way, these small trades are going to be all of them is 1x. Each one is just 1x, 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 1x. It's not going to double down. That means around $20. We need $600 per coin to sustain up to all of this drop in the market. So let's take an example. Let's say here there is a, a trade that has opened. Let's take this uh, specific trade here. Let me take a different color. Yeah, this trade here opened here. Oh, no, sorry. This color is not visible. OK. Yeah, this one. Let's say this trade is opened here and closed here. As an example, let's say the profit generated by this specific trade was two dollars or two USDT. Two USDT. So what's going to happen is that fifty percent of that, which is one dollar or one USDT, is going to be immediate profit, shown in your uh, e ledger in, in the in the bot as a profit. You already made one dollar. What happened to the other one dollar? The other one USDT is used to offset the average price. Which one is the average price? Is this one here, one here. This is the we call it the average position, average position. That combines one, two, three, four trades in it. So what's happening here is that this one dollar is taken up here to offset this average price and help it drop down a bit. OK, so while the market is, is actually here, each trade is going to contribute in bringing this average price. I'm not going to show exactly the equation, but it's a mathematical equation at the back end that make this uh, drop in the market. It's going to offset the average price. Using part of the profit to offset the price, we decided to make it as 50%. So another trade happens, it move it down further. Another trade happens, move it down further. Another pro profit happens, it move it down further. And then it keeps on moving down. If the market stays here, it keeps on moving down, 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 until the moment it touches one of the independent covers. Now this is a cover. We don't want it to pass that, and then we have a, we have a trade on the top uh is waiting or is going to be closed in loss at this point is going to combine is going to combine those two lines together this plus this and make it all as one trade and then move the whole thing down so let's let's put it in a different color let's put it in uh maybe orange here yeah. so now this line here orange line is the new cover that combines this trade and this trade together. So that everything goes down. So now, if when a new trade happens here, it's going to move the whole thing down a little bit. And then again, another profit help it go down, go down. Once it hit this one, it's going to take this one along the way and then take everything down. So here, there are two possibilities. One of the two possibilities. The first one is that the market moves up and then cross this one by 1.5% and close the whole thing in profit and then start a new cycle. Or if the market doesn't move, doesn't move up, this average price is moving down and hitting the current market price and then goes above that by 1.5% and close the whole trade, close this trade here into this market price and keep profit and start all over again another cycle. This is exactly how it's, how it's working at the moment. So two possibilities. Market moves up and close that trade on the top, or this trade moves down to the market price and eventually flows everything in, in profit. 
this is exactly how the bot is working. Now, when I watched that video for the first time, I had to watch it again and again and again for the penny to drop. And if that didn't blow your mind away, then you got to watch this video again. Replay that bit in the middle where the owner of EasyBot shows you how the algorithm makes money in a bear market. Now, if you want to be part of this and you want to earn a passive income in a bear market with practically zero risk, then click the link below and set up your free account and start trading today. You have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you in another video. Click the link below and get started for free. Bye now.